So Dylan, tell me about Proactive. What's it been like working out here? Uh, I mean, the process is great. You kind of surround yourself with professionals, uh, people that know what it takes to get to the next step. Uh, obviously, our group is a great group, learning under even older guys. And then just competing. Every day is just all about competing. I think that's what Don emphasizes, just competing. So we're big on that and just getting better one day at a time. What does a typical day look like for you here? Uh, get in here, PT, get your body right. Make sure you get breakfast. Uh, they're big on making sure we eat. So breakfast, uh, pre-court is where you know we kind of stretch, get the body going. Then we're on the court going hard. Uh, no matter if it's conditioning, no matter if it's you know hitting shots, we're just going hard on the court. And then you know after either going straight from the court to the weight room or getting uh, PT after the court, just getting our body right. Because, you know, we're going hard every every time we step on the court. So getting the body right is a big key. Uh, so it's PT and then either a lift or some days like Wednesday or a day like yesterday, we do the hot yoga just to get the body right. So I think, you know, every day is just not only getting better, but learning how to take care of your body. In terms of on the court, what's your focal point then? Uh, my focal point for me has just been, you know, trying to consistently make jumpers. Uh, obviously, the jump shot is something I'm constantly working on every day. So... My focal point is just to, you know, make sure I'm focusing on my jumper, uh, the little things that I got to do to make sure it's looking right, uh, and then just going hard, competing. I mean, that's one of the biggest things when we get to these team workouts. That's all they want to see is just you compete. You play hard on three and threes. You play hard on one on ones. Just so, just competing, especially with the the great group of talent we have. Uh, just competing every day and getting better. But for me, it's you know knocking down jumpers and then obviously staying in shape. Talk to me about. The, um, the NBA Combine, that first day of drills, um, you know, I think you surprised some people with the way you shot the ball. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something I was always capable of. So now it's just kind of getting out there and just showing it. Uh, I've been constantly working on the jumper. And I think the biggest thing now is just being confident with it. Uh, I have my confidence up really high just from all the reps that I've been getting. Uh, feeling comfortable with the shot. So, you know, when, when the Combine came and I got out there to just shoot, uh, my confidence was high and, you know, just knocking down jumpers. How did you feel about the way you played in the in the games? Uh, I feel like I played pretty good. Uh, just kind of showing a little bit of what I can do, like rebounding the ball and pushing it myself. Uh, those are some things that maybe I wasn't able to show in college. So now getting out, kind of showing, you know, different things in my game that I was always capable of, it felt pretty good. How much of the NBA playoffs have you been able to watch? Uh, a lot. It's been an interesting playoff, so I've been watching a lot of it. Any guys that you, you know, kind of hone in on when you're watching these games, guys that, you know, maybe that their their role could, like, correspond to, like, the type of role that you could play in the NBA? Uh, definitely with the Lakers playing Jared Vanderbilt. Uh, just how he uses his length on the defense. You know, my calling card is my defense. So a player like that where he's a good role player where he can, you know, get in the game and make plays, impact the game, even if it's not scoring, just on the defensive end of the, of the side. Uh, so I like to watch him a lot when it comes to, you know, where I could see myself as a role next year. Tell me a little bit about your trajectory as a player. Like, you weren't necessarily, like, this five-star recruit, you know, like, from, from an early age. You know, like, you, you had this kind of rapid ascent. I remember that that game in Indianapolis where you, you know, you locked up Imani Bates, and it feels yeah. like it was kind of like, you know, that that's when the, the climb really started. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just been the process. You know, I joined each one, teach one to kind of get my name out there. And I knew it would come as long as I stayed focused and kept working. And, you know, eventually it came. But I think it was just a process, uh, learning to live where my feet is. Uh, so it was just a process. I knew it was going to be a long journey. So, you know, taking different steps throughout the year to get to where I did get to. Uh, it was just part of the process. Five years from now, where is your skill set going to be? Uh, I think a lot more, a lot more being able to space the floor out. Uh, as I start to get even more confident with the jumper, being able to space the floor out, and then getting stronger with the ball handling, and you know, getting stronger on the defensive end, I see myself, you know, a two-way player, a player who can, you know, make shots on the offensive side and create plays on the offensive side, and then rebound, and then defensively being able to, you know, guard the one through four as it gets stronger, even guard the one through five sometimes. So I see myself being a real versatile player. Other than Vanderbilt, any other guys that you've been studying that you've enjoyed watching play? Uh, I definitely enjoy watching Jimmy Butler play. Uh, just his competitiveness. I like to play hard, play with a motor, uh, play with passion. And I think that's that's something that Jimmy Butler does. So I like to watch him a lot when, you know, these playoffs come and stuff like that. He's a different type of animal when the playoffs come. So watching him during now, uh, it's, it's a fun time to watch him. How good of a shooter will you be five years from now? Uh, I think really good. I think uh, it's all about just reps. You know, nothing was wrong with the shot or anything like that. It was just about getting reps and staying confident. I think that was probably the biggest thing was my confidence. So now that, you know, I'm in the gym constantly working on it, and the co I see it go in a lot, 
uh, the confidence is just continuing to rise. So I think five years from now, I'll be someone who can really knock down shots. Where does your athleticism come from? God, I really don't know because nobody in my family has any athleticism, I'll tell you that. So <laughs> uh, it's really just God given. Is it something that you had to work on or would you always just be able to just get never. into it? Nah, never. Nah, really, I never really worked on it. I want to say my s- sixth grade summer going into seventh grade, I kind of got my first dunk, like just messing around. So it was never like something I worked on, like let me do some calf raises to try to get my bounce right or my athleticism going. It was just God given, truly. What was this season like for you? You know, like I think one of the things the NBA teams talked about, you know, is like they love seeing like how positive you were, even when things weren't going your way, the way that you were encouraging your teammates, you were cheering from the bench, you know, like when you were called on, you know, like you came in and you impacted games. um, But like, what was it like for you overall? Uh, It was great. It was a great learning experience for me playing under vet guys. Um, So, you know, for me, I was all about positivity no matter what was going on. Where if you looked at the bench, you wouldn't know if I was playing the whole game or didn't play at all. And I was just all about winning. And we were doing that as a team. We were right there at Elite Eight, fight for a Final Four with a championship on our mind. So, you know, when you're on a team like that where, you know, it's a winning culture, uh, it's hard to complain about anything. And I just had so much time. Had a great time over there, and I couldn't complain about it. Great stuff, man. Thanks so much. Thank you.